This has by far been the craziest month of my life. Just a week ago, I was fighting another YouTuber in front of 20,000 people in Amelie Arena in Tampa, Florida. She loved that white hunt. As William comes yeah. forward, right hand again. Especially because this time a month ago, before I knew any of this was going to happen, I had just bought a 3D printer because I wanted to surprise you all by making my own Iron Man suit. Oh. Instead of that, I just got my own Iron Woman to walk out with me to the Star Trek Voyager thing. Gentlemen, <laughs> the Avengers have assembled. Charlie. Yeah, they got the whole kit and caboodle out there. They... I see a lot of people in the comments saying that this feels like we're in an alternate timeline or this happening makes you feel like you're in the right timeline, and so do I. Somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent, creating an alternate. William! I feel it too. Turns out in April of 2020, when I decided to start working out religiously, Pose really would think I would let a pandemic stop me from achieving my final four. Religiously watching Athlean X videos and Jeff Nippard, it was actually a good decision. Idubs and Anissa hit me up on March 23rd. And at the time, I thought I was 145 pounds, which was just shy of the 140 pounds they needed me to be to fill in. Turns out I was 155 pounds. I was actually pretty impressed with myself that I was the heaviest I've ever been. Oh boy. <laughs> we know I've always been skinny. Eating food and gaining weight has always been hard for me. Are you serious? Come on. This is for sure from Denny's. I like feeling hungry all the time. It keeps me motivated. Recently, someone reminded me how I used to always drink Soylent. I heavily fuck with Soylent. I think Soylent's great. I think it's a brilliant idea. Because I hated eating so much, I actually forgot about that. I don't do that anymore, but if a box of Soylent did fall into my lap, I don't know what I would do. Actually, this is actually good. So I got to LA April 5th and started training with my new coach, Michael Quick Flores, on April 6th. So I messed up telling people I had three weeks to train for this because the fight was April 15th. It really was only about like 10 days. We trained boxing six days a week and would run up Griffith on Saturday. Got Will. Let's go, baby. The hills. Okay, we just finished the run. Hills took Will for the first time. Will, how was it run, bro? Excellent. Running up Griffith with Alex Wasabi and Hundar Mad was one of the most challenging parts. I may be smiling in this photo, but this was the most tired I was during this entire experience. I knew this day I was like, I need to impress everybody and finish this run because if I can't do this, I can't do the fight. I didn't realize how much food gives you energy, including unhealthy food. So I eat a lot of rice, chicken, and broccoli, but whenever I feel like eating some fast food, I just let myself go and get it. Obviously, I couldn't do that during this, and after it was all over and I finally had fast food again, I was pooping. My body was like, we were doing so well, we were doing so good, why, why are you doing this? I tore up Steve Zaragoza's bathroom instead of handling that in my hotel room. So my trainer put me on a really strict diet, and one of the hardest things for me to abstain from was sugary drinks. Like, I love my C4s, I love my iced coffee. Nothing to the head really hurt because of the headgear, but it just winded me every time. But honestly, that's why I cut weight so quickly because I no longer had that stuff on me holding my weight. Oh man, this dude, this dude hit me up. We already had a hard run at Griffith, right? He hits me up at night saying that he ran from Santa Monica to Venice. Hopped on a call, I was like, dude, you're running too much. I was like, there's, there's a such thing as overtraining. We don't need to overtrain. The fight is right around the corner. If you saw my fight, you know my trainer is pretty badass. We thought that he had been mic'd, but it just turns out he was talking so loud you can hear him. Jab is the key. And when he come in with that ugly shit, right hand, right? You can... Everybody's telling me that I looked like a real boxer, likely because I stayed in my stance the whole time because I knew if I didn't, my trainer was gonna whoop my ass in the locker room for embarrassing him. I told y'all, man. Whoa, shit. We in this bitch. Will's the leader of the pack now. He's the alpha. Wolf. No, no, no. I'm the alpha. Wolf. No, no. <laughs> He's actually one of the nicest people ever and is great with kids that come to the gym and even has a daughter of his own that he loves. When it comes to boxing, my trainer does not play. We're not coming to just like, oh, hell yeah, we got invited to Creator Clash. Awesome, this is gonna be great exposure. Fuck that, we're going to win. So I'm really thankful to Justin Tracy for introducing us. I know my trainer was worried because day one, I couldn't even jump rope. I'm worried about the fact that I've never been hit in my adult life. I'm buffer, I'm bigger than everybody in this gym. But everybody in this gym can whoop my ass. Even the girl. 
Uh, I'm bigger than all of them, and they can all whip my ass. Also, we knew Creator Clash matches were two minutes long with a one minute rest, so he had me train for three minute rounds in 30 second rests. I can't lie, y'all. I was inspiring getting cooked. By coincidence, there was an actual boxer at CM Boxing Stables who was five foot four and named Chris, just like the Chris that I was gonna fight. This Chris has 10 amateur fights under his belt and is in the boxing gym every single day. Every day I was there, he was there. My trainer brilliantly thought if I can manage myself in the ring with this guy, I'd have a lot better idea of what to do with Chris Reagan. Yeah, this would be a good experience for him. Yeah, kick his ass a little bit. <laughs> CM Boxing Stables Chris whooped my ass. Hands up, hands up, Will. Hands up, Will. Hands up, Will. Stop, stop doing this. Stop doing this. Put it strong in there. Let's go. There you go. Time, time, time. Breathe, 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 breathe. Again. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Don't turn away. Stay up, stay up. Again. Hands up, hands up. Like that bounce to you. Right hand. Nice. And again. Your strategy is gonna have to change. I just used all my strategy. Let your hands go up. Uh huh. There you go. Let your hands go, Will. Let your hands go, Will. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Will. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. I, mean, I was just looking at you doing that flurry and just Chris dodging your hands. Uh, no, no. Ray Gun. Ray Gun. Oh, no. He's got, not gonna, he's got nothing for that, bro. He comes yeah. down with right hand again. Oh, he's catching him no. on the chin. This is bad news. This guy has like 2,000 HD. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know my people were worried about me. They were like, if you can't get through these rounds, how are you gonna get through the show? I think we've sparred seven times. Two other times I sparred with Hundar. So I sparred like a total of nine times or something like that. Uh, so I'm about to spar two people again. The smallest guy in the gym and the biggest guy in the gym. I'm tired of being tired. I want to win. I want to win. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you believe in me? Yes. Do you believe in yourself? Barely. Barely. You got to be a big time believe in yourself. Okay. I got to believe in myself, man. All right. Thank you, man. It's always here. It's all in here. Believe. It's all in here. If he believes in me, I got to believe in myself, right? The days I knew I had to spar, I dreaded coming in. And I really wanted to make up excuses to my trainer as to why I couldn't, but I never missed a day. He never let me because I knew missing one day in this situation is like missing a whole week. I think the other reason that people who didn't know me thought I was an actual boxer is because you watch movies and you think people who lift weights are boxers. I look closer to Michael B. Jordan than I do to Floyd Mayweather. Also, maybe because I do watch boxing and I know like what's against the rules or what looks good. Like, why does everyone in Creator Clash punch so wide? Yes. Oh, oh, left hook. What a left hook by E.B. right on the chin of God. Creator Clash made me have so much more respect for real boxers because we did all of the things that the professional boxers almost never do. We had a boxer bump into a cameraman. Hey, Tony, you're seeing it. Can't just forward pressure. Hammers here from John. We had a boxer punch the ref by accident. And we had a boxer fall out the ring. No, Harley oh. goes down oh. These things so rarely happen to the professionals, so you have to really come in. People who actually know boxing know that just because I lift weights and have muscles does not mean I can fight and have the cardio to last five rounds. For instance, one of my favorite boxers, Anthony Joshua, you know, heavyweight champion of the world. He actually lost against Ruiz and everyone made fun of him. They were like, oh, you look like you've been more at Burger King than in the gym. And he lost when AJ was like at his buffest, biggest, like, because he was training for a different fighter. But big muscles does not mean you're going to be faster or have more endurance. It just means you look better. It's a completely different training. So I go from doing zero cardio, only lifting weight, to six days of cardio. It was insane. One of the first things my trainer told me to do was stop lifting weights, as well as uh, no jacking off, no nutting, no nothing. We got that testosterone going strong. So I want him like a bull out there, you know what I'm saying? So none of that shit, no weed, no smoking right now. I know, he, I know he's a stoner, I know he likes to smoke and shit. So we staying off that and he's gonna be happy he did because it's gonna help out with our lungs and shit like that, so. Personally, 
I think the fight between Chris Raygun and I was spectacular. It was like a movie. A lot of people were asking me if I was nervous. I had never been a meme before, and the amount of memes that came out of this are hilarious. I love them all. In the middle of the fight, you know, towards the end, you know, I realized that there was one person who helped me get through this, who helped me see the best in myself. I couldn't disappoint him. I don't know this man's name. Do you believe in yourself? Barely. Barely? You gotta be a big time believe in yourself. Oh, it's always here. It's all in here. I couldn't disappoint him. So I know and I really appreciate that a lot of people want to see me continue to box, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, that, that, that stuff's tough, that's a lot. I didn't have time to think about it at all with this, I just, you know, did what I did. Usually I like to fight someone bigger than me and way, and way more intimidating. Thank you to Chris Raygun because he really put up an amazing fight. So thanks guys for watching, this was fun. <laughs>